I'm going to show you guys how to make some easy and delicious nachos at home. For the seasoning, I'm going to use one half teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of chicken bouillon, one tablespoon of Mexican oregano, a half teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of paprika, one and a half teaspoon of chili powder, and two teaspoons of cumin. For the ingredients, we're going to need two pounds of ground beef. We're also going to need, for the topping, pico de gallo and lettuce and we're also going to use some homemade salsa verde and if you want the recipe just look at my channel for salsa verde recipe and i'm going to chop up three blocks of mozzarella cheese for the cheese sauce i'm going to be making my own cheese sauce i um ended up not using the all of the cheese from the three blocks that i cut up but i'm just going to cut my cheese up into little slices or into little chunks so that it's easier to melt during the um, melting process of the cheese to make the cheese sauce. For the cheese sauce, we're going to need some mozzarella cheese, of course. We're going to need two tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of all-purpose flour, and two cups of whole milk. To my pan, I'm going to pour in some oil and I'm going to um, add all of my ground beef into my pan as you see me doing here and this recipe is so delicious and easy i hope you guys try this recipe because it's really good so yeah i'm just going to um break my meat down once it has once it's semi-cooked or almost cooked, I'm going to add in all of my seasonings. And then I'm going to mix it until the seasoning is well incorporated with the meat. And I did end up adding more seasonings. Just make sure you taste your food as you go. I added in a little bit more of paprika, cumin, and Mexican oregano. But you do not want to add too much salt to your food either. So just gradually adding your seasonings. But I just gave you guys measurements. So if you need more seasoning, just add more. But not too much salt because you don't want your food to be salty. And I'm going to add in some salsa verde. I made this salsa and it's so delicious. So I'm going to add in some salsa verde for more flavor and to moisten up the meat. But yeah, so I'm just going to mix that until it's mixed really good. And afterwards, I'm just going to turn the eye off. At this point, my meat is done. So I'm just mixing the um, salsa in and my meat is moist. It's not dry. I'm just going to set my meat to the side and now we're going to work on the cheese sauce. To my pot, I'm going to add in my two tablespoons of butter. I'm going to let that melt first and you do not want your pan on high. I suggest your pan to be on medium heat. You do not want to burn your cheese sauce. Just take it slow. I'm also going to add in my two tablespoons of all-purpose flour and I'm going to mix that until it's dissolved into the butter. I'm going to mix this. I'm going to let this cook for about one minute. To make sure that the flour is cooked. And yeah. Next I'm just going to gradually add in my whole milk. And I'm going to mix as I go. I'm going to mix as I pour the milk in. As you see me doing here. And you don't want your... Um, don't want your um, sauce to like stick or anything so you just want to continue to mix it until you see like a um, result in the texture like the thickness of the milk the, um, the your milk should become thick because you added the flour in so at that point you want to add you want to gradually add your cheese in and not just a bunch at one time I'm just going to gradually add it in and then mix it and then add some more in and then mix it 
I'm just going to continue this process and I ended up not using all of the sheets about half of the bowl I used so yeah I'm just going to mix it and my cheese sauce is done so now it's time to plate up our nachos to my plate I'm going to add some corn tortilla chips and you can use any corn tortilla chips that you guys like or that you have but I'm going to add that I'm going to add, pour or like I'm going to add over my cheese sauce and you can add as much as you want the cheese sauce went well with these chips it was all so good it was a delicious combination with the salsa verde and yeah I'm just gonna add my ground beef now and I'm going to add on some lettuce I like lettuce, so I'm just going to add as much as I want. You guys can add as much or as little as you want. And I'm also going to um, sprinkle over my pico de gallo that I made. This is homemade pico de gallo. And I'm just going to add my salsa verde. The salsa verde is so good. Everything went well. The pico de gallo, the cheese sauce, the ground beef, the salsa verde. It was also good. I hope you guys give this recipe a try and let me know how you like it. And if you recreate this recipe, tag me. And I'm going to top it off with some sour cream. And yeah, this is how I made my delicious nachos. I hope you guys try this recipe because it's really good. And follow me on everything. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Adios.